In the Tekken 8 trailer for Gamescon, we're given another look at this massive, what I would call, world tree. The fact that you have Zhao Yu who is immediately charging at them, it seems as if she's being sat there to defend the tree. And something that I also want to point out that in the background of this tree, it's dark. It's kind of like a tunnel. We know from the game that this tree has a second layer. You have these stone boards blocking the entrance. In the game, we can see one of those boards is knocked out because there's a supposed to be four of them and the other one appears in the sanctum stage this tells us 100 percent that when you go through this tree you go maybe through a tunnel some i don't know how it works but you end up at the sanctum stage now the sanctum stage kind of has elements of a tree engulfed in it as well you can see all along the walls there is tree vines kind of like it's under the tree you also have this blue like mystical like lights kind of like floating around it's kind of like spiritual in a sense this is really tying these two locations together it is based off the red paint and the fact that you have the jack robots trying to attack this it seems like it's going to play a major role in the story so we have to ask the question what is this tree i believe this tree that we're looking at is the world tree Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil is an enormous ash tree that connects the nine worlds, including the underworld, earth, and the realm of the gods. Tekken 8 incorporating something like this honestly isn't that far off. We have stages in the game already that players are expecting to be the underworld. You talk about that desert that looks like a form of underworld we also have the stage that is kind of like a remaster of jen's Tekken six stage but it's kind of like has all these devil gene monsters and creatures and chains and all of this stuff as well one thing about tekken we never really understood the source of the devil gene we know that it comes from azel but where does azel come from does he comes from the alternate dimension that lies within this tree somehow he escaped into the world and he brought the devil gene with him these ideas sound very far-fetched Fetch, but the reason why I believe that this could be true is because Japanese culture references Norse mythology a lot as is. Two of the most popular Japanese animes of all time, you have Totoro and Attack on Titan. Both of these animes have a world tree of sorts. In Totoro, the children basically discover this hole in a tree. When they go inside of it, they fall inside, it goes down a long dark, it leads them to kind of this utopia of sorts, almost as if you entered a whole new world. World. Inside the tree is where this little girl finds Totoro, the friendly giant. I want to make a comparison between Totoro and Azazel. There's a lot of theories online that Totoro is the actual god of death. Yes, a protector of nature, but you still cannot ignore that god of death. Now let's compare this to Azazel. What is Azazel? Of course, the rectifier of all things. It arrogantly believes itself to be above mortals understanding and sees itself as a neutral agent of justice and judgment, meting out the destruction of humanity and in proportion to the destruction that humans themselves has caused. And basically that's a very complicated way of saying, one, they're kind of like a god of death of sorts. I talked about this in past videos, the comparison to Anubis and Set from Greek mythology, but pay attention to the part about meting out humans, the destruction. Humans cause a lot of destruction on the earth. And Azazel, one of his main goals is to pay humans back tenfold for what they've done to the world. This is just a comparison. In Totoro, you find this friendly giant, but they have a darker side. This idea of a unearthly being living inside the tree is very prominent throughout anime culture. If we talk about Attack on Titan, another very popular anime of all time, they also have a world tree. Literally, Yggdrasil. This tree is pretty spot on to what we're shown in Tekken 8. The original Titan, which sparked the whole entire storyline that we love so much, it starts off with a girl. This girl was just living in a village, doing her thing, and then eventually it was attacked and she was captured. One day, a pig escaped and they're trying to figure out who to blame. Everyone turns their back on her and they point at her, they blames her. She is the one who let the pig escape. They pull a move straight from the movie Apocalypse and they tell her she's free to go. As she starts running away, 
she realizes she's not actually free to go and they're trying to hunt her down. They chase her through the forest on horseback shooting arrows at her. They're hitting her. She's running for her life. She falls down a hill. She sees this hole in this tree and she thinks this is a good place to hide. Once inside this tree, she slips and she falls into water and the water almost pulls her down to the bottom. Very deep tunnel just like we've seen in Totoro. Once she's in the water, this is where the Titans are born. It attaches to her spine and the first Titan emerges. Once again, if we relate this back to Tekken, Tekken is showing us a world tree. Yggdrasil is already a big part of Tekken. Lars's faction is named after Yggdrasil. Within the Tekken wiki, it said the name Yggdrasil itself comes from Norse mythology and refers to the world tree. The rebel army's name is thus a reflection of the Scandinavian roots of its leader, which is Lars Alexander. So this tree being also named Yggdrasil isn't that far off. You go inside the tree, you go down into a tunnel, it leads you to the sanctum stage. In the bottom of the sanctum stage, in the back, there appears to be another super bright light. It looks like it leads outside, probably back to the surface world, but I would say maybe this leads to a different world. If we talk about Yggdrasil and how it connects to the nine worlds. From here, we could be looking at the entrance to another world. This could be where the desert biome is and where Jin's soul is located. It would make sense if you think about it. Something happens to Jin, maybe he dies, maybe he is killed. His soul, his body is pulled back to this tree. He's brought to the underworld. Jun Kazama, Lars, Alexander, Zhao Yu, multiple character, everyone is racing to go into this tree, find Jin Kazama and basically try to save him. Just looking at how popular Norse mythology is within Japanese culture, it makes sense. But also looking at all the different stages and other worldly places that were shown in Tekken 8, it would also make sense that this tree connects them. You go inside the tree, you go down the Sanctum stage, and in Sanctum stage, there's many different doors and pathways that leads to all these different places. If you talk about unknown and where Jun Kazama has been, the answers can also be found within this tree. Yggdrasil connects nine worlds of Norse mythology. This could be another quote unquote world that this tree connects us to. You have to stage from Tekken 6. The reason why I said it seems like this is where Azel comes from because you have these weird magical shields, Claudio summons all surrounding this portal. It seems like a barrier of sorts to prevent anything else from accessing the portal. If they really wanted to go down this route, they can also connect different stages of past games to this tree as well. The nine worlds is supposed to be nine different worlds that all holds a different fabric of reality. And this is what the tree Yggdrasil represents. And it would make sense why Tekken would want to introduce something like this because it would tie together all of these different plot lines in a, such a unique way. Regardless of my theory, Jin Kazama dying to Kazuya Mishima, his soul being dragged back down into this tree, everyone, maybe Jun Kazama going in there to get him, all these different theories that we could come up with, speculating on what this tree means and how all the other stages are connected to it. Regardless, I am excited for the story of Tekken. What Tekken is doing with everything we've seen so far, you could just see how much world building is put into just these few trailers.